Greetings, everyone. This is April from Android Authority. Agent 007, better known as James Bond, is known for electronic gadgets and technological wizardry. And when a device appears, no matter how briefly, in one of the James Bond movies, that device is automatically associated with notions of reliability, toughness, and technological advancement. Such a thing occurred with Sony's newest Android phone, the Sony Xperia T L T 30 P and the Sony Xperia T L L T 30 A T. Both phones are currently referred to as the Bond phone. Is the Xperia T's association with 007 well deserved? Sit with me through this review and find out. Sony has always been known to break the mold when it comes to its Android phone designs. The Xperia T is no exception. It is solidly built, suave and smooth, and with hardly a sharp corner. Its size and weight are pocketable enough for Mr. Bond or Mr. Bond wannabe. It isn't exactly feather-like, but it's not rock-heavy either, though it feels rock-solid. It doesn't creak when you grip it tightly with your fist. The phone's front is all black, accented only by the silver Sony and Xperia word marks. The front is clean and simple. No hardware buttons here. Just the notification light, sensor, speaker grill, front camera, and microphone. The top and bottom edges of the front bevel towards the top and bottom sides where they meet the back panel. This phone has smooth corners and doesn't have sharp edges. The headphone jack sits at the top and is highlighted in silver. Only the micro USB port is on the left side. There's nothing at the bottom side. The phone's right side is where things get a little busy. The slots for the micro SD and micro SIM cards are underneath this flap. Right below this compartment are the power buttons, volume rocker, and camera shutter. I must say that these buttons are dangerously situated in an area that can easily be pressed by the base of my thumb. Also, I would need to bend my thumb further downward to be able to access these buttons. I find it inconvenient and uncomfortable, especially with one-handed use. The phone's back is made of soft-touch rubber and contrasts nicely with the industrial air of the phone's front. The material prevents fingerprints and smudges. This non-removable back panel curves downwards from the top and bottom edges towards the center. I find this curve somewhat sexy, and it gives the phone a distinct Xperia look. This bump, though, looks ugly, and the loudspeaker hole down here is a little bit too deep. It can easily accumulate dust and dirt over time. The 4.55 inch TFT touchscreen brings a sharp, high definition display at 1280 by 720 pixels resolution and density of 323 ppi. Colors are vivid and true to life. Images are sharp. You'll see fine details when zooming in on images. Though to me, the dark tones and videos appear grainy. In terms of processing power, the Xperia T's hardware appears to be a little bit behind, especially in this age of quad-core processing. The Xperia T uses a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 MSM 8260A chipset with a dual-core 1.5 GHz Qualcomm Crate CPU and a Dreno 225 GPU. These are complemented by 1 GB of RAM and 16 GB of internal storage. MicroSD expansion is also supported up to 32 gigabytes. The Xperia T is also PlayStation certified. Yet the Xperia T shows several signs of sluggishness. There is noticeable lag when swiping between home screens, navigating the app drawer, and loading high-resolution photos. Browsing is generally smooth, but zooming in or out of a page takes about a second or so. While video playback and games such as Dead Trigger don't freeze or stutter, dual-core processing becomes most perceptible when launching apps, which takes a few seconds to load. As for the camera, I am quite happy about the dedicated camera shutter button. It's quite a convenience for mobile shutterbugs like me. The 13 megapixel camera captures great photos, especially outdoors or with adequate lighting. Colors are vibrant without being overly saturated. This very same camera is capable of 1080p full HD video capture, though I found the image stabilization function somewhat disappointing. Autofocus also sometimes lets me down. Worse, the autofocus motor makes enough noise that it can actually be caught on video. For multimedia playback, the Xperia T comes with Sony Walkman app as the default music player with straightforward and intuitive controls. You can also enjoy better sound with clear bass, a five-band equalizer, and XLoud. 
The Xperia T can also play 1080p full HD videos without gasping for breath. The phone comes with a non-removable lithium-ion battery pack with capacity of 1850mAh, expected to power the phone for about 5 hours of video playback, 7 hours of talk time, and 16 hours of music playback. For an Android phone associated with Agent 007, I was expecting the Xperia T to at least come with Android 4.1 Jelly Bean out of the box. Alas, I only got Android 4.0.4 Ice Cream Sandwich. Sony reportedly plans to upgrade it to Jelly Bean sometime in 2013. Sony's Timescape user interface gives the phone a distinctively Sony look and feel. If you've ever used a Sony Android phone before, the experience will not be too alien to you. It's a very attractive, functional, and user-friendly UI. All in all, the Sony Xperia T LT30P or Xperia TL LT30AT is a great dual-core Android phone and may be suitable for those who don't need too much smartphone horsepower. Its overall design is sleek, smooth, and suave, although most of its hardware buttons are located in an uncomfortable position. Its build is undoubtedly solid and its size is comfortable enough for use on the go. Its display is bright, sharp, vivid, and simply gorgeous, but expect lag in navigation and app launching. It has a powerful 13-megapixel camera that can capture crisp and vibrant photos, although this camera can be disappointing when shooting 1080p Full HD videos. Although overall the Xperia T is a good phone, I feel that James Bond deserves something better and something faster. Do you feel the same way? Share your thoughts in the comments. Get more Android news and reviews at AndroidAuthority.com and through our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. This is April from Android Authority. May the light side of the Android Force be with you.